Hi guys, my name is Nacenta. You're welcome to my kitchen where we bring you simple but delicious homemade recipes. Today I'll be showing you how I make this delicious yam porridge. If you're new to this channel, thank you for stopping by and to my returning subscribers, thank you for being with us. First, I slice the yam into pieces and I peel and then chop into desirable sizes. I then wash the yam pieces to get rid of the dirt, especially sand. Next, I slice the red peppers and onions. I add the scotch bonnet and some garlic. I put everything into a blender. Add a little bit of water to help propel my blender and I pause a few times ensuring that the blend does not get too smooth as I still prefer the peppers to have a bit of texture. Next, I slice my spinach. I've decided to use spinach vegetables for this porridge because I wanted to give it that colorful garnish as well as improve the nutritional value of the porridge as spinach is a very nutritious vegetable. After slicing, I then rinse the spinach and leave it on a strainer to get rid of the excess water as spinach contains a lot of water. Next, I add some palm oil to the pot and I add the chopped onion and stir. I allow to fry for about 30 seconds before adding the blended pepper. I allow the pepper to fry for about 2 minutes. I then add some seasoning powder and blended crayfish. You can add salt to taste at this point. I just don't do additional salt as a personal preference and that's why I'm using lots of crayfish. I add some filleted roasted mackerel which I already have in the fridge. I then allow to fry. After about two to three minutes, I stir properly to ensure that it's not burning or sticking to the pot. Next, I introduce the yam cubes and stir properly to mix everything together. I add about two cups of water just to cover the yam just slightly above the top of the yam. Be careful not to add too much water so that your porridge will not be too watery. You can always add some more water halfway through the cooking or when you're stirring if you notice that your porridge is too thick. But it all depends on how thick you like your porridge. After about 10 minutes, my porridge is cooked and I stir. I give it a good stir, occasionally breaking some of the yam to give me that base, to thicken the base of the porridge. Then next, I add my washed spinach. You might want to add as much as you want, but you can stay halfway through. If you need to add some more, then you can. Ensure that your yam is properly cooked before you begin to stir. To check this, you can pierce the yam with a fork and if it breaks easily, then you can be sure that it's well cooked. As soon as I stir in the vegetables, I turn off the heat of the cooker so that way I allow the vegetables to get cooked by the heat from the porridge. That way you can be sure that you're not going to overcook your vegetables and denature them. And now my yam porridge is ready to be served. I'm sure you all agree with me that this is so deliciously rich. And I tell you what, it is equally as yummy. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share to as many as possible. To my subscribers, I say a big thank you for your support. And if you're yet to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the video. Until I see you in my next video, look after yourselves, eat well and stay safe. Bye.